We have left the land of opportunity where anyone had a clear route to future success in the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We've gone across the bridge of outdoor survival to the English slash Pasha Dash Leg, which is a whole nother continent of games that we're going to play. But whereas before we were deciding who would fill 10 slots in the semi-finals of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, now we are to decide only two slots, the English slash and also the Pasha Dash Roo leg. Um, how we're going to be doing that is through the game Careers. As you can see, I don't know, can you see it on my, on my whiteboard? Careers. Um, Careers is a game that looks like this. It's got um, a larger board that you go around, and then if you land on particular spaces, you can enter an occupation. So you roll two dice to go around the board, one die to go through the occupation, or you'll use these experience cards if you have them, because they uh, let you determine your movement. Um, the occupations have these different things you can get. Uh, you see that there are hearts and stars and money, and those things correspond to the secret life goal that each person has. It's not going to really be secret in this game. People are just going to be kind of pursuing their own track for the most part. There's too many people for there to be a lot of interaction. The interaction instead is going to occur, and this is where this game is going to be different, um, when they land on an occupation. So if when someone lands on ecology, if they decide to enter ecology, they're going to be taken out of the game for a moment or for a while until enough people decide to enter ecology or enough people of or everyone's already engaged in another occupation um, to trigger the ecology game. And then we're going to play a different game that's going to determine how people do in their ecology career uh, versus each other. So that it'll be a competitive job market for that particular job. Um, and then, so how that mechanism works. Normally, when you land in this space, you're going to just roll and then leave. Um, depending on how many people are playing, that's going to be the number of, uh, the first place winner is going to get that number of people minus one and guaranteed rolls through here. Now, if your guaranteed roll takes you out, you get a loop back around. Okay. Um, and that's just kind of going to happen outside of the turn sequence, those guaranteed rolls. Uh, so the, if we look here at the whiteboard, we're going to be tracking a number of things here. I guess we'll look at the top. I'll try to... Okay, so there's the goal of the person, which is on the top. The first number is fame. The second number here is money. And the third number is happiness. And I went through and did goals for everyone. Um, this here is their current fame and happiness. There's nothing there right now because people start out uh, unknown and unhappy. Um, any degree they have, because you can go through college and that has different effects. Their current salary, which determines how much money they get when they pass go. It starts at a number, but I didn't write it in. Um, what jobs they've worked, because if you work jobs multiple times, um, you can get into that track without having to pay the entrance requirement. Their current money on hand. Um, and then how many turns they've actually played. So it could be that someone meets their goal, in which case they become the English winner, right? Um, but there's other players that have not done as many turns as them. So those players have the opportunity to catch up, fill out their turns. The reason why is because people are going to have to be waiting on career spots. Um, so there's still a race aspect there. Um, now you notice I said the people in the English leg, that will determine the, the, who's the English person. How do we determine the space person or the Pasharu leg? Sorry, I just woke up. Um, though I would make that blunder even if I hadn't. Uh, this, the space, anyone who enters the space leg is going to be taken out of the game. And there's only so many people who get to do that. So there's kind of a space race going on. And then they're going to be shunted into another kind of space game. Um, and then the winner of that is just going to be the Pasha Ruleg person. So that's kind of a shortcut. They're, they're not going to have to deal with as many games. Um, all right. So how do I make these choices? 
I, I didn't choose them strategically, and I don't think I'm going to have the people choose their, make their choices strategically in the game either. They are going to just kind of be going based on what they would actually want in their life, what jobs would be interesting to them. So um, it seems like strategically you might want to just race for the space race and because then you cut down the, the number of people you're competing against. But it's only going to be people who actually want to be astronauts that are going to do that. Anything else I need to talk to you about? Um, oh, yeah. So these videos are going to be a little different. Uh, we're, we're doing things in a different way and kind of closer to how I would like to do future tournaments, I think. Um, which is not in so much a tournament structure. So there's going to be the, if you're watching these on, on YouTube.com, there's going to be the careers videos, and those are going to kind of have holes in them, right? Where the, the games, the other games that kind of branch out from that trunk are going to fill in. So if you watch the, the, the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament um, playlist, it should all be sequential. In, in how they actually happen. If you watch the careers playlist, you're going to just see the careers game. And so each game will have its own playlist and you can just focus on that game if you want. Or if you want to watch the, the, the story unfold for, from the people's perspective, um, you would watch the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament playlist. One final thing before we get started, we need to talk about college. Um, in the regular game of careers, only one person can have each degree. Except anyone can have like a general studies degree. Um, since we're playing with a lot more players, we're going to allow multiple people to have those degrees. But it's going to be dependent upon the game they actually play to get those degrees. Okay, so um, meaning the the maximum number of players that can play that game. So if we look here, we have the medical doctors. Medical doctors they get a cut uh, out of the money whenever someone has to pay money to the hospital. Um, engineers, they get to go in the space race for free, which is nice because the space race costs $5,000. Um, biologists, they get to become ecologists for free. They're called scientists, but um, since the only relevant field is ecology, I just called them biologists. And then lawyers, they get to go into politics for free. Uh, so there can be six lawyers, four biologists, five engineers, and five medical doctors. Um, one other thing, when they're they have their uh, they're going on the career tracks after they've played their game and they're using their guaranteed roles, um, if they land on a negative space, they can trade one of their guaranteed roles in order to shunt that down to the next person. So if you if you finish like second in the game, and you land on something that says go to the hospital, you can use one of your guaranteed roles, which remember is determined by um, determined by what place you got in the game versus how many people were playing. You can use one of those guaranteed roles to give that negative effect to the person below you. And then if that person has a guaranteed role, they can use that to send it down. So generally those negative effects are just going to hit whoever's got last place in the game. So that person's probably not going to be successful in the career because they are going to end up just going to the hospital <laughs> most of the time probably. I don't know, we'll see. This is going to be a fun experiment. All right, so we have our players organized in alphabetical order here. Um, Banana is right down there, and she's going to be going first. We're just going to go in alphabetical order to start with. The turn order does, I might matter. So we'll do a live action playing right now. She's going to roll 2d6. She got a 4, and she's going to move 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now she can pay her 1,000 to enter... Uh, ecology right now, um, or she could try to continue on and get to college. Uh, so let's look at her. She's an English teacher. Yeah, good looking. I don't think she would. Well, no, actually, she's a, she's got a green thumb. I think she might enter ecology, but then that's going to. Well, I think that's okay. Yeah. What are her goals? Banana. She wants money and happiness. Ecology looks good for that, so we're going to put her right here in Ecology, and we'll mark that she's had one turn on here. Brezza just got an Opportunity Knox card. He's going to use it. Um, he can use it right after getting it to go into teaching. 
Now teaching is a little different in this game in that the um, track does not correspond uh, what am I saying? The game does not correspond to teaching. Uh, what I did was there's an older careers game. There's a lot of different versions of careers um, where the teaching track is is actually uh, sailing or doing something with boats. And I have I don't really have any games about teaching. Um, I have educational games, but they're usually cooperative or involve trivia, and so they wouldn't really work in this circumstance. Um, but I have games with boats in them. So we're going to have the teaching thing be superimposed with the sailing track. The spaces are actually the same, what they do, from what I understand. I read that on the internet. Cheeky just got an inauspicious first roll. Inflation. And apparently inflation only affects him. Uh, it's a very unfair and specific form of inflation where he just lost $250. Chopper got into college. He's going to be vying for an engineering degree, one of only five people who gets that valuable, valuable degree. Two instance, two more instances of tragedy here. Um, first, Sid is in the hospital. She's going to have to pay half her money. She could just keep rolling and try to roll less than five, but that would take a lot of time, and time is of the essence. Cowboy perhaps sadder. He's at the auto show. He really wanted to buy a car for a thousand and get some happiness, but he couldn't he couldn't afford it. He had to just buckle down and just look and not get any cars or anything because otherwise he wouldn't have any money and it's a long way around the board. You know? Unless he got a golden opportunity to enter something for free, he would have to go all the way around to payday again. Um uh, it was, a, it was a tough choice for Cowboy. I almost had him just buy the car. Demi's in the game. No one let me know whether or not he was survived or not at, outdoor, at the end of Outdoor Survival. I kind of suspect he wasn't, but I'm really not sure. So um, he, he could have gotten very lucky. And it'd be interesting if, if he wins and it turns out he actually didn't survive Outdoor Survival. Because then we'd have a ghost. Um, so let's let him roll. He got a two. Taxes. If salary is three thousand or less, pay ten percent. All right. He loses a hundred dollars. Exciting news, everyone. Desi just won a trip to Hawaii. That's great. He got to go all the way over here, and he got four hearts for being in Hawaii. And if he stays there, each turn he stays there, he gets two hearts. He could. He could get. His goal is sixty hearts. So if he stayed there for, um, uh, what would it be, 26, no, 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 46, 23 turns, he uh, could just win the game. He could just set a clock for 23 turns. I doubt, I think the game would be over before that, though. I don't know. I think we'll just go on his personality. It might be fun if he just hung out in Hawaii for the whole game. Yeah. Because she's such a great mountain climber, Kaz and Cat is able to enter sports for free. That's nice on the first turn. Normally you have to go through college or pay 4000 which she doesn't have. Uh, she couldn't pass up this special opportunity to enter sports. Good news! Vaughn just got a special opportunity to enter, go into teaching. She gets to double all hearts that she gets in there. And hearts are a big goal for her. There we go, 50 hearts. She also wants some money. Okay, so everyone's had one turn. Let's look at where people are. Um, we had five people affected by Chinky's inflation. It wasn't just him, which is nice. It was also nice for Sid that she's not alone in the hospital. We have five people in there as well. You can see Mooney back there. And Watermelon and Otto also suffered from inflation. Um, interesting, there's three people who decided not to enter ecology three people who did. Um, and if we look at our college track, not as many people uh, landed on the college space as you would think. Um, one person, Scoots, got there due, due to an Opportunity Knox card. Uh, the other people landed on it. Uh, college is a roll of a seven on the first one we had. Let's see. So six people rolled a seven. 
and you know we had just as many roll a 10 which is not what probability would if we if we did this first turn numerous times it wouldn't be like that um, let's look at the degrees we have here we have our ecologists here smudge and danimal um, two engineers so they're they're probably both shooting for space uh, scoots and chopper and then jules pinky and tater as in tot you can see her behind that pole um, they are all politicians or they're all lawyers so they're going to be politicians so that's kind of fun um, anything else interesting to report we have our artists um, these are the people who didn't want to be ecologists there's destructo and several people at the auto show there which is a roll of a six Watermelon had a great second turn, which is nice because she had a rough start landing on inflation right away. Um, oh, how I'm doing the turns, I'm just kind of going from the furthest away on back. Uh, that just seems easier to me than um, trying to fish people out of here and figuring out where everyone is. So I'm just trying to access people and then move them. But what, anyway, back to Watermelon, she got an opportunity to go to college, so that allowed her to pass payday. So she got paid and she gets to enter college. We have our fourth uh, law, to, law school student, law degree student here in Watermelon. If you recall, Chinky was also in inflation. He got the same result. He got an opportunity Knox card, uh, to, and the opportunity was to enter college, uh, but he made a different choice. He is our first medical student right there. He's pretty proud to have been accepted into medical school, and I'm proud of him as well. Bum roll for Twigmar. After leaving the hospital, he had to pay $500. He ended in unemployment. I guess his uh, boss didn't look kindly to his um, sick leave. And he's got to pay half of what he has left, 250 to get out or else roll certain numbers. But again, that's not really in his advantage right now to do that. Going down to 250, that really limits his options. He's really got to pass payday soon. Um, he could enter teaching, but he's already passed teaching. So, tough. Similar problem for Giraffe. She landed on inflation right after leaving the hospital. So she had to pay 500 and then a fourth of 500, which I got to work out the math for that. Most of the people who were in the hospital had a bad time when they got out. Worst of all, though, was Weasel. Weasel got out of the hospital and then he had to pay his rent. And so that brought him down to zero. Really unkind world. And money is his, his goal, his big goal. Oh, poor guy. Stubby just got a special opportunity to enter politics. Unfortunately, he doesn't really want to enter politics. Politics mainly gets you fame. Zoom. Um, and that's not that useful to him because he doesn't want any fame. But he does want money, so he's requesting 3,000 from people. Uh, no one can pay that right now, but he's going to wait. Another player might take 1,000 right now, uh, but he's going to hold on to it and wait. So we've finished our second turn. This is where everyone sits. Um, a better way of seeing where everyone sits or where some people sit is by looking at this sheet here. Um, this is a tracking sheet, and you can see we have one contender to be a medical doctor, two engineers, two biologists, five lawyers. If we have one more lawyer, that's going to trigger a game. Um, three ecologists, one artist, no politicians yet, three business folk, one sporting friend, and zero astronauts. So pretty fun. I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's kind of difficult to keep track of everything. A lot of erasing. It's going to go slow, but that's okay. We can be okay with that. One of the problems is if I bump someone, they, these cards act like dominoes, and then I have to refigure out where they go. I think I've gotten it right, except for one time I was maybe a little shaky on it. So if you see something that doesn't make sense, it was probably because there was a seismic event. See you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, English slash Pasha Dash Roulette 2 Careers.